Hi and welcome back to my channel and a shout out to my Patreon supporters and of course to my new YouTube subscribers. The first thing I do is get the cupcake tray ready with the baking cups and set it aside. Then I start with the dry ingredients, half a cup of white sugar and one third cup of brown sugar. Oops, do you notice the mistake? Usually you mix the sugar with the wet ingredients, not with the dry ingredients. We'll see if the carrot cupcakes turn out okay or maybe I have to make a new batch. Measure the spices, ground cinnamon, allspice, ground ginger, and nutmeg. Then I sift them with one and a half cups of flour total for 12 cupcakes. What spices do you add to your cupcakes? Let me know in the comments below. I also add one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. Then stir, stir, stir. Set all that aside and shred two cups of carrots. I don't peel them and they turn out great. In a different bowl, add two eggs, one at a time, just in case one of the eggs is bad. I'm using a third of a cup of neutral oil, like sunflower or grapeseed, and a couple of other ingredients to make them moist but not greasy. That is a third of a cup of sour cream and a third of a cup of applesauce. And one teaspoon of Mexican vanilla. In my opinion, the best in the world. I mix all the wet ingredients. And to that, I will incorporate the dry ingredients. And don't over mix. Now I add the carrots, fold them in. By the way, your oven should be preheated at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. Fill the cups with an ice cream scoop. I use that particular one because it's the perfect size for the cupcakes and I'm not being sponsored by that company. It just makes my the job of filling the cups easier and less messy. Bake the cupcakes in the oven at 375 degrees for the first five minutes, then lower the temperature to 350 or 180 degrees Celsius and bake for another 15 minutes. And they turn out okay despite my mistake. Let's take a look inside to see if they bake properly and they did. Let me taste it. It's very moist but not oily. And top them with cream cheese frosting and I have a recipe for that in my channel. Chaito! See you in the next video.